Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Winning Post, powered by the Serum Institute of India. I am Mandira Lalwani. As always, we bring you all the news, updates and analysis from racing all over the world. This weekend is no different, but first, the headlines. We look ahead to the Epsom Derby to be held this weekend. Back home, a look at the Nanoli Star Juvenile Million. And a preview of the races in Bangalore this weekend. First up, let's talk about the Epsom Derby, the most awaited, the most prestigious race in Britain. This year, we'll see 15 horses going to the starting gates for this one. And Mohit Alwani, our resident expert, brings you his analysis of the contenders. Epsom Derby, a name synonymous with tradition, prestige and greatness. It is Britain's richest horse race and the most prestigious of the five classics. Officially known as the Investic Derby, the scale and following of this event are unmatched, not just in Britain but around the world. The race which got its name from the Earl of Derby was inaugurated in 1780 and serves as the middle leg of the Triple Crown preceded by the 2000 guineas and followed by the St. Leisure. This Group 1 flat horse race is open to 3-year-old thoroughbred colts and fillies and is run over a distance of 1 mile for 4 longs and 10 yards or 2,423 meters. June 1st is when the world will witness the next chapter of this esteemed event, which attracts thousands of race goers. And like every year, it will be run at Epsom Downs in Epsom, England. The Derby's honour roll is filled with some of the best names in horse racing, including St. Paddy, See the Stars, Nijinsky, and Camelot. This year, the Derby will include a field of 15 runners, all of whom will fight for glory and the chance to be included in the echelons of horse racing. Well, it is time for the Epsom Derby and of course it is always run on the first Saturday of June. Originally, always run on the first Wednesday of June, but uh, times are changing and of course a crying need for it to switch to the first Saturday of June. Now. Across the world, it's said that the Epsom Derby is the best race in the world, run over the worst race course in the world. And I'll tell you why. This is one of the most difficult races for a horse to win. Out of the start, a mile and a half from home, it rises, continues to rise until it reaches a crest. It rises for nearly um, half a mile. Then it starts to swing down and come down really steep before it comes to Tatnam Corner, which is a hairpin bend. All this time, going downhill. Now, for a horse to come down Tatnam Corner, you have to really be beautifully balanced. You have to come down on your right leg and be able to improve your position from the time you go to the crest to the time you straighten up for home. And that's where most derbies, according to me, are won and lost. Lester Pickett was a genius at getting his horses to do that. Up the straight, it doesn't get any easier because it cambers towards the rail and rises in the last 150 yards or so, all the way to the winning post, doing the most damage to a tiring horse. So, for a horse to win the derby, you've got to be beautifully balanced, you have to have great legs, and you have to have the pedigree to truly get a mile and a half. This year's derby is interesting because you've got a horse that's unbeaten, a son of new approach who won the Epsom derby, a horse called Dawn Approach and the Godolphin Colors. Of course, Godolphin are having a terrible season off the track with all the positives, but perhaps this will bring a shine to everyone's uh, face out there, or a smile, I should say, to everyone's face out there. Um, this horse won the 2,000 guineas, and he won it well. Inside the final half mile, they're past halfway. Letty Moore and Gloria Waits have gone scorching across the grass here. Four lengths clear of Toronado with Dawn Approach on his outside under Kevin Manning. They're both poised to pounce the big two in the market, followed further back by Don't Bother Me, and then Vandeneer on the far side. The pacemakers are beginning to fold up, and it's left to the big two now. The white-faced Dawn Approach on the left, on the right in the grey jacket, Toronado. 
Machado. Out wide, Gloria Waits is sticking on. Then Van der Neer as they race down into the dip. Dawn approach from Toronado. And Dawn approach is finding more as they race now inside the final furlong in the 2000 guineas. Dawn approach unbeaten. And he's going to win another one here for Sheikh Mohammed and Jim Bolger in the Godolphin colours. Dawn approach by four, five legs. My big concern with him is though it isn't the strongest derby field and idly if he stays a mile and a half he should win and uh, really he's uh, by new approach he's got uh, so much stamina in his um, pedigree uh, the dam's side however was a very fast horse i think eventually the galileo uh, new approach uh, pedigree influence will come through and i think I'm not too concerned about whether he'll get a mile and a half. I'm more concerned, looking at his racing action, looking at the way he carries his head, whether or not Dawn Approach will come down Tattenham Corner. If he doesn't, he'll get beat. Of course, Astrology out in front for Ryan Moore, leads by two lengths from Thoughtworthy in second place. In third is Rugged Cross, just ahead of Bonfire, who's made another place, picking off Cavaliero to move through into fourth. Cavaliero niggled along in fifth place from main sequence, McDarm. No move yet from Camelot, who's won from the back with minimised risk. So Astrology it is, who leads the descent towards Tattenham Corner. Thoughtworthy moves closer to within three parts of a length. Bonfire travels OK on the outside of Rugged Cross, Cavaliero and Main Sequence next, Camelot's now two from the back, McDarm in the yellow colours and last of all is Minimised Risk Tattenham Corner and Thoughtworthy moves through to Press Astrology and these two quicken off the front end in third place Bonfire with Rugged Cross Camelot moving through into about fifth place but still has six lengths off these duelling leaders Astrology white cap, white colours of Thoughtworthy, then in third place Rugged Cross, Bonfire with the noseband Camelot asked now, moves through is into fifth place but out in front astrology has kicked off the front end and has got a break it's camelot who's out after his stable companion but astrology got first run and a three-length lead camelot hanging down the camber is beginning to close the initiative as they go inside the final furlong and now camelot moves past astrology into third is main sequence but up towards the line it is camelot who leads by three or four lengths from astrology and at the line the father and son combination of Joseph and Aidan O'Brien won the Investec Derby with Camelot. Time now for a quick break here on The Winning Post. But when we return, we'll go back home to Bangalore. Check out the summer season and how that's coming along. Thank you for staying with us here on The Winning Post. I'm Andira Lalwani. Now, the end of the racing season in Mumbai heralds the start of the Bangalore summer season. Top class racing, lots of action. So The Winning Post heads to Bangalore now to bring you all the action from last weekend which saw the Nanoli star Juvenile Million. Bangalore summer season got a forward thrust as the first of the Juvenile Million races took off on Sunday with the Nanoli Stud Farm Juvenile Million. The Nanoli Stud Farm has been a key sponsor for races across various centres over the years. Eight juveniles lined up to take a crack at the rich stakes and the glittering trophy for the Nanoli Stud Juvenile Million, a grade 2 race for 3 year olds run over 1400 metres. Marioi, the budding champion from the Dr. M. A. M. Ramaswamy camp, attracted a lot of support, mainly due to his impressive win in the Poonawala Multi Million, beating another budding star named Starry Eyes. With Marioi raking up a top rating, it was going to be a big race for him to enhance his reputation. He looked fit and impressive in the paddock and was the overwhelming favourite to win the race. Taking him on were two other horses of quality, Albertino and Marinsky both of whom had run behind him in the multi-million. Albertino too looked fit for the fray and had come into this race with a good log on the track. Marinsky had travelled all the way from Mumbai yet looked the part as she gained in fitness and seemed to have taken well to the city's cooler weather. Hyderabad representative Kallu Mama was taken on stiffer opposition and he seemed well prepared to strut his stuff. 
looking alert and able in the paddock. The others ran with more hope than conviction and were ready to face the acid test. Take it up by about a length and a half now in front of light of success moving up on the outside. Another two lengths uh, further behind there is Albertino Kalumama comes in next a length and a half away there. Invincible Prince Sashikara comes in next. Mura is just about there and second last about two lengths uh, further away there is uh, Supreme Regiment Tharia. Back to the leader in a decent flip now. Light of success showing the way to Marinsky. And about a length further away, Ashikara is up on the outside. Albertina is hugging the rails as they pass the 800 meter mark. And then comes Kalumama. A length further behind is Mura is now making headway on the outside. Invincible Prince is also uh, showing some anxiety along the rails there and make the forward move. After that, two lengths further behind is Supreme Regime as they pass the 600 and begin to negotiate the turn. Past the 500 board, light of success still calling the shots. Barinsky is now. Uh, come up on the ranging up on the outside to take it up as they straighten up. 350 left in the narrow list of Junal Million. Light of success. Marinsky, two lengths further behind us. Albertina begin to get up. And Murai comes in with a good run on the outside. It's Marinsky in the center from Murai coming up on the outside. And then there's Albertina. But Marinsky from Murai coming up with a rattle on the outside. And it's going to be all Murai on the outside from Marinsky. Murai takes charge. Wins the narrow list of Junal Million. In style from Marinsky finishing second. Marinsky put her heart into the run and broke away to a handy lead in the home stretch. Marioi was tracking her down and was doing so without an all-out effort. He was gaining on Marinsky with every stride. And in the final few meters, Marioi burst onto the scene to clinch the issue without much ado even as the narrow margin of victory might suggest so. Jockey B. Shrika wore a smile as he knew he had a potential champion under him and spoke about the race and a bit on the plan ahead. Yeah, like it, it was the same, it was a repetition of the Punawala Mill and what we planned. But uh, like because of the Hapel, uh, everything went alright but he took little time to you know, just come into strides. So I had to pick him up a little early and show him some daylight. Uh, towards the winning post, you know, he showed he had a lot of steam left in him. So that doesn't go well for longer distances. Obviously, uh, he is made out of something unique. You know, he has got. I haven't even used like half the percent of uh, what he has got abilities. He is one of the top horses, no doubt about it. Trainer S. Ganpati had a stiff upper lip and was crisp in his comments. By day by day, he'll be more matured horse. And, and, uh, I think he'll improve on it. He's gone a mile very convincingly. He'll, he'll go. Convincingly. He'll go on mile. After that, we uh, got a ton of food. And we'll see the cold trail. After that, we'll decide on whether it is. On this victory, you know, he was At the victory, happy. and I'm happy today. Thank, Thank you. you. The presentation honours were carried out by the pretty looking and aptly dressed Miss Rishika Basappa on behalf of Mr. Khushru Dhanji Boy, the owner of Nanoli Start Farm. Time for us to head into a short break here on the winning post, but when we return, we examine the contenders for the Chief Minister's Cup in Bangalore. Welcome back to the winning post. Now, staying with the Bangalore summer season, this weekend is the Chief Minister's Cup. That's a Group 3 race with eight runners over six furlongs. Let's have a look at how this one is going to pan out, according to our preview. After the Nanoli Stud Juvenile Million, the next big attraction at the Bangalore Turf Club is the Chief Minister's Cup, which is set to take place on Sunday, 2nd June. The Chief Minister's Cup is a Grade 3 race that is run over a distance of 1200 meters and is open to thoroughbreds 4 years and older. This year, the race will attract a field of 8 starters, all of whom will compete for a chance to win the prestigious Cup. Speed 6 is coming into the fray on the back of a great performance at Kolkata. He is sure to attract a fair share of the crowd support and looks in top form for this year's race as well. We spoke to jockey Trevor Patel about the horse's form for this Sunday. I'm riding Speed 6 in Chief Minister Trophy. 
he lost a sprinter's cup this year and is working well. Hopefully he does well and wins this race. He worked this morning, he worked very well. He always been a genuine race horse. He always ran a good race and I think so he'll definitely be there. Actually he's very genuine horse. He doesn't need any run and all. He's a very genuine in the race. He doesn't show much on track but he does well in the race. He has a speed in the form? Yes, yes, he, very much. He's got a great speed and great turn of form. Okay, so you should be right there. Yeah, I should be right there. To race to the rush, the lead with uh, Shivalik stars on the inside. Or in, in the center, there's Cliff Springer on the outside, is River Star who comes and takes it up. So it's River Star, the leader, by about a length in front of Cliff Springer's in second place. On the outside is Speed Six. Not too far behind Speed Six, there's Crown Rule, then comes Shivalik Star. On the outside is Shivalik Star, the successor. Not too far behind successor is Kohino Wish, then comes Bullet with the uh, Bullseye is tucked in the center as it passes 600 meter mark. And not too far behind the secret punch with uh, Neffin another length away the Sunday storm as they swing around the turn and straight enough for the final run in around the town and into the straight is about 400 more to run here for the Oasis Star Sprinters Cup. River Star comes in on first is about a length in front of uh, Speed, six is, Speed Six is on the outside on the inside there's Bullseye and it's going to be Speed, Speed Six on the outside is about a length in front of River Star on the inside comes Neffin then comes uh, Queen Wish, but Speed Six is about a length in front of Neffin fighting back on the inside it's a Neffin from Speed Six Speed locked six together. Will be joined by another promising starter Ancient Wonder whose last appearance was in Mumbai at the Sprinters Championship over 1200 meters, where he placed fourth. Let's hear what trainer P. Quinn had to say about the horse's form for this Sunday's race. I've got a runner in the Chief Minister's Cup, Ancient Wonder. He's got a decent mock race and uh, I'm very happy with him. He's uh, looking and working very well, enjoying the weather over here. I think I've got a very decent chance in the Chief Minister's Cup. Besides the uh, mock race, has he been working uh, hard or is yeah, he he's been working fast? quite well. I don't work him on the outside because it's a little bit heavy for him. He works on the inside and he's working really well. How will the weights work out for you? Are I'm you getting good? 59. The weights are raised by 5.5 kg. I'm getting 59. I will be right there, I think. And who's going to ride the ancient one? Just riding the horse because he knows the horse. After the victory at the Nanoli Star Juvenile Million, the duo of owner M.A.M. Ramaswamy and trainer S. Ganpati will look to get another win under their belt with Sadon Bay. Sadon Bay is coming into the fray on the back of a third place finish at the Jayacha Maraja Wadiyar Cup, run over 1400 meters on the 19th of May. We caught up with jockey B. Shrikant who told us a little bit about the filly's form. Uh, I'll be probably riding Sadon Bay. She's come back from a setback. She's uh, definitely she's proven her ability and she's a very good filly. Now uh, she's back to form and she'll be performing very well. It is though it is not a pet distance. She over the class she might uh, make it interesting. It's a 1200 meter race and uh, she was in the front last time out over a seven for long trip. You think uh, she has the dash to sustain the last 200 meters or 300 meters, or will she require longer distance? She definitely she is uh, longer distance busy. And uh, six for long, I think uh, the pace, it doesn't matter. She is also fast and um, we should uh, see the dash or like she's running six after a long while. She's won six, hasn't she? Yeah, she has won six. That's all we have time for in this weekend's episode of The Winning Post. Remember, if you've missed anything, you can always catch it on our YouTube channel. Also follow our resident expert Mohit Alwani on Twitter for all the race day tips. That's all we have for you. See you next weekend and until then, may the horse be with you.